Hello and welcome to William Henry Harrison High School. My name is Corinne Hayes and I'm the Assistant Superintendent here at Southwest Local Schools. Southwest is a growing district with just over 4,200 students in our K-12 schools. Harrison High School is our only high school and it is a facility that serves students in grades 9 through 12. In this video today, we are going to highlight for you some of our college and career readiness programming to give you a glimpse of what it's like to be a Harrison Wildcat. Hello, my name is Matt Lindley. I'm the principal here at William Henry Harrison High School in Harrison, Ohio. And I want to talk to you today about our pathways, the pathways that we have for all of our students from freshman to senior. Our goal in Southwest Local is for every student to graduate from our high school with a readiness for post-secondary success, whether that be enrollment in a two or four year college or university, gainful employment in the workforce, or enlistment in one of our military branches. These pathways are involved in helping our students discover and explore their passions and their interests and being able to have some different things that they can do to make sure they go from theory, science, math, English, social studies, to application. How are they gonna apply that in their lifetime? Over the last few years, our team has worked incredibly hard to redesign the high school experience for our students. And everything we've done is to prepare them for that future pathway that they choose to pursue. We all know that high school is about far more than just earning credits to get a high school diploma. It's about the learning experiences that students have along the way that they take with them into their futures. And oftentimes, it's these learning experiences that help to spark a passion or ignite an interest in what will ultimately become their chosen profession giving all students an opportunity to explore and grow, both academically and socially, within and beyond these walls, is what we're all about. And so we're excited to be able to have so many opportunities for these students to be able to do that exploration and find their passion. The why is because we want our students to leave Harrison High School knowing what it feels like to do the jobs and things that are going to be in the future in terms of planning their workplace. So let's take a tour of our offerings. So when we would go into class, most of the time, at least once a week, we would get some kind of speaker coming in. And that would be, whether that be firefighters or the police or sometimes the military, they would all come in and they would talk about their, like what they do and what options that we have once we get out of high school. Some all, us also other stuff is um, we do this um, program called OSHA and they can get you certain credentials that would help you get picked uh, over certain jobs than other people. Some credentials that you'll get in law and public safety are FEMA, OSHA 10, CPR certified, and Stop the Bleed. And additionally, we do a fundraiser for the Matt Haverkamp Foundation. He was a police officer who unfortunately died in line of duty, and he was in the K-9 unit. So the law and public safety class like makes treats for like for dogs and things like that and then we sell them to the district and that all the money we raise is given to the Matt Haverkamp 5k uh, marathon race. The engineering class teaches us how to think like engineers and apply the design process. We use industry software and equipment in order to solve problems and we can earn college credit and industry credentials to add to our resumes. In addition to all of the awesome engineering classes, we have extracurriculars such as Vex Robotics, where we work as a team to build a robot and travel to competitions trying to win a spot at state or worlds. We also have Society of Women Engineers, which allows us to provide outreach activities to encourage young girls in our community to pursue their STEM interests. And we compete as a part of Technology Student Association, where all engineering students choose different projects that fit our own interests and help us build soft skills, even if an, even if it isn't strictly STEM, and we have the opportunity to advance to state and national competitions here as well. 
For me, the engineering classes were a way to find my passion. I learned so many things that I knew to love and enjoy. I like electronics and pneumatics, and you get to build like a lot of fun projects in this class, and it's honestly pretty fun. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the projects that we got that I got to build out of class. In Rise Up, I learn about customer service and retail. I like it because I like to make people smile. As a part of our program, we work both in the building and the community. We are here today in our school spirit shop, The Den. We are open to the community three days a week and help with cleaning and inventory. My favorite work experience is at Church on Fire, which we go there and um, we uh, we help like give out food and stuff. I help them, we help them uh, so they can get ready to give out food for people that are in need. And um, I like it to go there because I like helping. Hello, my name is Juan Roberto and this is Advanced Manufacturing. We will work on uh, different types of machines in here, such as the electric relay system and pneumatics. Uh, I'll be talking about the electric relay system. What this system does is it relays power through a series of circuits. It can turn on lights, uh, extend and retract cylinders, and make the motor move such like so. And then my friend here will be talking about the pneumatic system. So it, this, the pneumatic system takes compressed air and converts it into usable energy. So you can like move pistons up and down or like a spin a motor or thing, it, yeah. different things. HOSA serves as a pipeline to the global health community, and you learn the core values of learn, lead, serve, and innovate. We have our international service project, as well as opportunities for competi competition at the regional, state, and international level. It's a four-year program, so you do it your freshman through senior year, and it's also a dual credit, so it'll go for your high school credit and your college credit. PLTW biomedical science students are taking on these same real-world challenges. Working with the same tools used by professionals in hospitals and labs, students engage in compelling, hands-on activities and work together to find solutions to problems. Students take from the courses in-demand knowledge and skills they will use in high school and for the rest of their lives on any career path they may take. PLTW is committed to preparing students for lasting careers by making a difference in the classroom with hands-on and relevant experiences. All four classes offer college credit with qualifying and, of course, exam scores. There are problems all around us in our schools, in our community, in our future workplaces, and in our personal lives. Half of the battle of solving problems is to identify specifically what the problem is and its potential root causes. The other half of the battle is to develop an appropriate strategy to fix a problem and monitor its success. Even, even through failure, we still learn and grow because we discovered that a potential solution was no good. So you cross it off and attempt a different solution, all the while getting closer to improvement. So we use Lean Six Sigma in our workplace leadership class. And what it is, it's a problem solving process. And we use the DMAG process. So it's define, measure, analyze, and prove and control a problem. And what you do is you work as a team member to get your Yellow Belt certification from the Lean Six Sigma program. And then you'll go ahead and get your Green Belt, which is more of like a team leader type deal. And then you will um, earn a Leadership Excellence certification and it applies to plenty of jobs and different careers um, past high school and college, which is really nice. How it's different from other classes is this um, particular class, you're more involved in your group and you kind of get that more freedom of like your group picks what you want to work on and you kind of go off and do that while the other teams are doing their own things. And it's a lot, like I feel like there's more freedom and you are kind of up and you're always like standing up and writing on boards and putting your ideas out there and figuring out what you can do to fix everything.
What is DECA? DECA is an organization that prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management in high schools and colleges around the globe. Beyond competition, Harrison DECA takes many field trips to further deepen student knowledge on the business world and how they can impact it in the future. For example, on October 21st, our chapter took a trip to Columbus for DECA Day at the Blue Jackets game. Here, students were able to learn more about the marketing behind the Blue Jackets, have a questionnaire with the business team, go ice skating on the practice rink, and attend a Blue Jackets hockey game. As an organization, Harrison DECA is greatly devoted to helping the community. As a chapter, we conduct many community service projects like our annual Trick or Can to help involve the community in all the remarkable things we do. One of the best traditions of Harrison DECA is the wall. Each student who advances to state or nationals gets to put their handprint on the DECA wall and sign their name. The wall has handprints going back to 2010 and is a great way to represent our chapter's achievements and past students' legacy. Your handprint could go on the wall next. 